I pray by a power that this world does not know. I fast by a power that humanity is not aware of. It is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work. This is why I came here. Lord, I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family, my loved ones. Why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes? There is a way out. I don't know what the way is, but I know there is a way out. And then you engage by faith. Are you ready to pray? We'll take two or three minutes to pray. I want you to release your faith sincerely. God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power. Lift your voice in one minute everywhere. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, all the overflows. Go ahead and begin to pray. Indeed, it is my night. God is giving me a story. Shalika parakos soprande kebeleketash kebrate kabareka skote beleketa manta prakete beleketos katiba la sandabash. This disease, this infirmity, is living finally. Someone pray. This embargo of shame and reproach, backwardness, retrogression, is giving way in the name of Jesus. Take a minute to release your faith. It's time for gates to be open. It's time for doors to be open. Time for new chapters to be open. Make sure you are praying, engage by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor, and limited begging and in servitude in the name of Jesus I curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray and pray my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men lifter of men I will hold on to the storm and I will hold on to your world my life will soon reveal you're the lifter Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, 
you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom smallness is a curse let me tell you straight to the point do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing there is greatness without vision that is also a foolish template for living but in the presence of vision and understanding there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life and then number three poverty do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped that is the truth there's a song that is in my spirit in the Caribbean, Zambia. One more time. The light of the world. When the Magi followed the light, they did not miss their way. It took them straight to where Jesus was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a light that when you follow, you will look like you will not get there. But one step a day, one step a moment, you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny. A praise to God and a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I want to pray. Please listen to this instruction. I've told you that faith is connected to obedience. And I want you to listen to me. Please listen to me. I want to pray for the sick now. I sense a very strong anointing. I want to pray for the sick. But the Lord is revealing to me that there are people here you achieve things but they never last it's not like you don't start you will start and make progress but there is a spirit that must bring you back no ma you saw it with your parents some of you are experiencing it now you've had jobs so it's not like you are unemployed, but there is absolutely nothing to write home about. As I pray for the sick, I'm going to pray for those people. I want you to bring them out because the power of God is coming on those people and on those families. I want to pray. As soon as that song was raised, that's what the Lord began to minister to me in my heart. And then I'll pray for the sick. We'll take testimonies now. Ah, there is a light that is coming here tonight. In the name of Jesus, everyone, Paros Kadibada. Please bring them out very quickly. We have a lot to do tonight. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down, goes up only to come down. There is no longevity in impact. I decree and declare right now, be delivered this moment. Bring them out. Be delivered this moment. 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 My goodness, fire is falling in this place. Be delivered this moment. In the Bring them out. In the I'm 
I'm still praying in the name of Jesus rising and going down by the Spirit of the Living God whether it's for you or for your loved ones I stretch my hands now that fire let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever 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 be separated now and separated forever in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah a strong healing anointing is moving in this place right now strong healing anointing I'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases Salika parako sade balende kebos chakras kade balasudyash there's someone fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head there is healing that God is bringing to you right now everything that is not of God lay your hands I want to pray for the sick now help that man shala sebares kota paranda gabaretu siata hallelujah lay your hands I want to pray listen as soon as I pray for you miracles are already happening the power of God will touch you right where you are I want you to check yourself and make your way to the front right now right now for those as soon as I pray for you a miracle is happening check yourself the moment you find out you're healed make your way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ the first that I'm seeing in my vision here there is somebody you feel like something is being pierced through your neck to your spine I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit please play the strings for me in the name of Jesus may the hand of God rest upon you now Help them please. May the hand of God rest upon you now. Every demonic headache masquerading as anything, recurrent headache, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Any eye condition, total blindness, partial blindness I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Ghost begin to see now begin to see now there there are people who cannot move their legs I don't know if it's whatever pain in the name of Jesus the power of God is resting upon you begin to check yourself now and do what you could not do in the name of Jesus now hear me all kinds of pains are about to leave. You will know because you will check the pain and it will be gone completely. I stretch my hands. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Help them please. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Back pain be healed now shoulder pain be healed now neck pain move your neck now be healed in the name of Jesus there is someone being healed of goiter goiter in the name of Jesus may the power of God rest upon you I bring you healing and I bring you life healing and life someone with a heart condition I curse that spirit right now and I release you be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone, you, you are not able to sit down. I don't know if it's pile or some boil or just, just swelling in the name of Jesus Christ. As I pray for you now, you're going to feel the fire of God rest upon you and that devil will leave you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I'm seeing someone kidney problem. You're having kidney problems. 
if I don't pray for that person I'm seeing that you will die in the name of Jesus whether you are here or connecting from any hospital may the Lord raise you from the, de the bed of, of languishing in the name of Jesus Christ be healed from that kidney condition you could not bend Every time you bend, there is severe pain. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. Let that pain disappear now. Let that pain disappear now. The Lord is showing me someone, your toes. You have a problem. I don't know what problem it is. Your toes, it looks like um, it's getting hard. I don't know what the medical condition is. But I know that it's affecting your toes. The power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus there is a lady and a gentleman two of them will shout now under the anointing the lord is healing someone connected to your family this is in the name of jesus i know everybody but there are two people the lord is revealing to me and I decree and declare, whoever that person is, let a visitation come for you. Come for your family members. In the name of Jesus. There's someone, there are particular foods you cannot eat. When you eat them, you start throwing up. And you will even be sick. God is revealing this to me. Now, I am, I'm not a doctor. I will not advise you as against medical advice, but all I know is that anything that is related to the devil must leave you now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a woman's husband. This is your husband. I'm seeing a situation affecting his mobility. He's unable to move. He's beginning to affect his leg. It looks like arthritis. In the name that is above all names, whether you are here represented or so anywhere across the overflows or online, I decree, who is Rachel? Rachel, come. Your time has come. Oh, oh, oh. your season has come. for you the Lord is visiting the family of Rachel and the Lord is saying he's taking away arrows of witchcraft this is what I'm saying I decree and declare be delivered now now by the spirit of the living God may the hand of God I stretch my hands every spirit of witchcraft around the family of Rachel be delivered now be delivered now what he says to one he says to all be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ is there someone with a name Livinus I'm hearing a name Livinus is it Lavinus or Livinus somebody Livinus the Lord is bringing deliverance to that family Livinus or Lavinus whether you are here or following online I want to pray for you I'm seeing someone in this row I just saw light someone in this row the hand of God is coming on that person right now there are two men of God I'm seeing a chapter close in your ministry and another one being open the fire of God is coming on you now two men of God I don't know where you are, whether you are here or scattered around. Father, I pray that you locate this man and open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. In the name of Jesus, open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, multiplied visions. This is what I'm hearing. Multiplied visions. There are men that are coming into this realm where God is opening your eyes. Multiplied visions. Receive that grace right now. Multiplied visions. Accuracy in your perception. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
is there someone here with the name Godia? I'm hearing the name Godia. That should be maybe most likely someone from the north. Godia, please, we have a lot to do. Make sure that Godia, if, if they are outside of this place, no problem. Let me just know. I want to speak. I heard that name, Godia, in the name of Jesus. Every manifestation of sp the spirit of death. Is there someone with the name AGK? AGK. I believe that, that most likely is an Igbo name. AGK, who is that? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are entering your season of reward. A season of reward. AGK, who is AGK? Okay, you, sir. You are entering your season of reward. You are entering your season of reward. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, may my God visit you. May my God visit you. I'm still seeing another AGK that the Lord is revealing to me. AGK. That's the, is that his name? Verified. Is that your name, my friend? Huh? What's your name? What do you do? I'm a civil engineer. You're a civil engineer? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. There is somebody who does furnitures. I see the hand of God coming on you. You are about to explode. There is a supernatural grace that is coming on your business this is what the lord is revealing to me who do you do furnitures furnitures yes, sir. you make it or you sell it i make furniture you make furniture yes, lift sir. your hands yes, sir. something is about to shift in your life in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for you by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be a supernatural manifestation of grace a supernatural manifestation of grace the Lord is showing me someone you are a lawyer but you have never been employed this is what I'm seeing there is a spirit of shame it's not just you your family members the Lord wants to change that who is that person don't tell lies make sure that you are you are a child of God you is she a lawyer practicing lawyer yes sir i'm in private practice you've never, never been, employed. been employed yes sir how long have you been practicing 15 years yeah yes you can ask Madam, are you a lawyer? Hold on. Hold the woman. Just take it easy, madam. For 16 years. I'm for how many years? For 16 years, I've not been employed. It's okay. It's, don't worry. You are 20 in the house years. of God. Just believe. 20 years. I don't know you, madam. You, how many years? 20 years. Where are you from? I'm from Benway. Because Brother. there is a spirit. I need to pray for you. This thing has tied everybody in your family. Yeah. And it kills the man in your family. I want to pray for you. You see, evil is real. Oh. I'm praying for someone here. In the, everything that is masquerading itself around your family. As I'm praying for these ones. May that grace rest upon you now. All of you in front here. Right now, be delivered now. I release you now. Every plague of witchcraft over your life let it be broken now over your career let it be broken now 20 years look at this woman no nothing now you, you watch in a moment ladies and gentlemen these same people will return back here and they will tell you doors have just opened just like that that is what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. Hmm. Check your neck. There's someone, I don't know what was wrong with your neck, but I want you to check it now. A miracle has happened. I will soon ask those who, are, who have been healed to come out, but something just happened in my spirit. Mildred. 
I'm hearing a name Mildred. Mildred. Who is Mildred? Mildred. In the name of Jesus, wherever that person is. Mildred. Now, the Lord is showing me a very unique case to pray for a family. When people marry in that family, they must die. This is what I'm seeing. When they marry, one of the spouse must die within the shortest time. It doesn't matter whether it's the man or the woman. There is someone who belongs to that family. Where are you? Come. One of these families is a Southern Kaduna family. Yes. I want, yes. Where are you from? Yes. I'm from Southern Kaduna. Sir. Southern Kaduna. Yes, sir. Stand here. I want to pray for you. Southern Kaduna, I'm seeing this family. There is witchcraft that sits on the destinies of people. And if one person ever rises, that person must die. Something must kill that person. And so you find out that all the great people, people who would have risen, is like something just brings them down. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. My assignment is to bring light and liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Harako sete balekosiata. Shalebarando zigebesh kopra haskabalakatosia. Father, right from the foundation of this family, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Hallelujah. Now, I don't want you to come out. I will just mention the case because the Lord revealed it to me and I will pray for you. There is a family... The ladies in those families, there is a spirit of prostitution on that family. Almost all of them don't come out just for social reasons so you are not embarrassed. But I want to pray because I'm seeing five ladies and every one of them is practicing one kind of prostitution or the other. It's like the spirit insists that is the only way that you must eat. Either some man somewhere or something somewhere and they are sincere people but it's a spirit. This thing I'm seeing by revelation that it started right from their mother. I don't know where that family is represented, but I cry unto the God of heaven, the one who shows men mercy. That yoke that they may not even understand that is responsible for this level of decadence in their family. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. There is a plague of sickness in your family. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. You are twins. This is what the Lord is asking me. The, the Lord is asking me to pray and break that yoke. You are twins. Where are you come? You are a twin, sir. From where, sir? From where? Southern Kaduna, Zangun Katav. I want to pray for you. The other twin is the twin here? No, he's But uh, I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something relating to your blood. I have to pray. Uh, this is like a blood condition yeah. that. Twin, so. Did you hear what I said? Are you a twin? Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> where are you from? From Abia State. <laughs> I need to pray for you. Leave her now. I command that spirit to go. As soon as this lady came, I just saw serpents like that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this lady be delivered forever. Forever. I'm seeing the name of a family and I'm seeing the ground being opened and the names put in and covered. I don't know who did this, but this is what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, any family here whose destiny has been trapped listen oh i'm praying whether you know it or not right now fire is going to come upon that person be delivered now be delivered now 
Let the grave release your destiny. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you reveal to me that there are twins. What do you do, sir? Please don't be embarrassed. Yes. I'm a medical practitioner. You're a medical practitioner. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Father, I pray for these people here. Lord, you reveal to redeem. Please make sure you the ones coming out. Why are you coming out? Twins? Huh? He has blood condition. They are twins. He has the Your blood children? Condition. Yes, sir. Who and who? Two of them. Two of them. This one has blood the blood condition. Con what was the condition? Bleeding disorder. It's called hemophilia. Bleeding disorder. He lost a finger because of it. He lost one finger? Yes. How old is he? He will five next oh month. Oh my God. I want to pray for you. Please believe. When God visits people, is for redemption. I stretch my hands right now. You have anointed also God to be extensions of your power. Therefore, I decree and declare that everything that is happening to any twin here represented, right from the foundation till this day, I decree right now. I'm seeing fire resting on you people. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Let that fire rest upon you. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus. Even for the kids, I decree and declare, let this blood condition come to an end now. Let this condition come to an end now. Hallelujah. You are the only person alive in your family, among your siblings. They are all dead. Who is that person? The Lord just showed me a vision. I need to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed when God, I hope I'm not wasting your time. Where is the person? Please rush. The only person alive where are you from are you from anambra state where are you from huh anambra state all your siblings have nine eight of them died. eight of them have died yes, you are the only one yes, you see but listen ladies and gentlemen until god trusts you with power and the grace to see you may never know what people go through how many of you were born nine of us and how you are the only one left eight have died how many of you four and all of them are gone only you let me pray for you i believe in jesus and I act as he reveals to me. How do you have nine people and eight people would die? How can that be the will of God? I hope as I'm praying for them, you are connecting to. Because that is the purpose of faith. Are we together? Lord Jesus, we stretch our hands as a family of faith. One of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. I just saw a vision and the Lord is telling me that if, if you were not prayed for, this would have been the same case with you before the end of the year because this is a spirit. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I want, I want to pray for you. You see, the truth is that curses are real. The power of God can set men free, but curses are real. Hallelujah. I just heard it's like two people were quarreling. And this is what I just heard in my spirit. Didn't see a vision, but I heard. And all I heard is it will not be well with you. This is what I heard. This is like a conversation between two women. And somebody is standing and saying it will not be well with you. This was said to a family. Come and stand here. There is a family that somebody told you that. Who told you that? league no this, anyway i'll pray for you but this is not what i'm talking about but you don't have to be on you see number one is fear god number two treat people with respect there are there's what we call self-inflicted causes and it comes because people get angry and madam where are you coming from you're an international visitor yes. from 
California. From California. California. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you too, my dear. The scourging tongues of men is what Job said will be delivered from. Let me pray for these, our dear ones, going through this demonic thing about death. In the name of Jesus, for every arrow of death that has been deposited in these lives and these families, no matter how many of them have gone, for your sake, in the name of Jesus, may God restore the name and the dignity of this family. May God use you to restore the name and the dignity of these families. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every legal access that the spirit of death has over you and over this family, we declare, let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. In the name of Jesus, let the blood speak now. And for anyone who is a victim of the ill speakings of men, that someone stood and opened their mouth, whether it's a curse, causeless, or a curse with a cause, I declare, let the blood speak for you now. 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 There's someone you've been having pains at your right side or so. I'm not a doctor, but I'm hearing appendicitis. I need to pray for you. In, I believe that's most times it's a surgical procedure that manages that, that situation. We have a number of doctors here. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray. Once we pray, you can, you can, we'll, we'll give a few minutes for the testimonies before. I've not done the deliverance session proper. I'm about to do it now. No, no devil will escape the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, where are you from? This fair lady looking at me. States. Don't be embarrassed there, eh? but I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck. Yes. Huh? That people just, people hate you. Yes. People reject you. Yes. People fight you. Yes. And they give meaning to you, something that is not yes. true. And there are many people who have that kind of thing. Anybody who is being perceived wrongly in the name of Jesus, that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. What's that restore song? Sing it for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore. a man i will not advise that you come out but i'm seeing the number 59 million you lost 59 million i don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is but that's why i raised that song for you because the lord is saying he wants to restore you and I'm, I'm using that man as a point of contact anyone who has lost any one naira i don't care for no matter how long by the power that raised, if you believe in the prophetic, then I'm speaking to you. Between now and the next three months, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, let there be supernatural restoration. Let there be supernatural restoration. You will be surprised to see what God will do. Don't doubt. I declare restoration. First for the man God revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition, may my God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now. I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, 
connect your family to yourself by faith so that what is happening to you you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them it is as for me and my house me and my house at the count of three I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and I want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus delivered now be delivered now I break those yokes I break those yokes bring them out I break those yokes by the power of the Holy Spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered families be delivered Easternans be delivered, Westernans be delivered, Middle Beltans be delivered, Northernans be delivered. Every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny, we declare let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now. Bring them out. I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you, the, rest upon you. the lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of God is coming upon such people I'm seeing the number 11 in the name of Jesus wherever you are whether within this auditorium the balcony anywhere across in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now, broken now. hallelujah gift who is gift I just had the name gift G I F T gift your name is gift gift there is a door that is closed and I'm seeing a hand trying to open that door and the Lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what I'm hearing father honor your word right now I stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of Jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of Jesus may the God of all grace swing those doors open now hallelujah there are three people in the crowd the congregation the Lord is telling me that I should pray for you you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the 
the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number three I don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes is like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted instead of you in Jesus name someone is by the pillar I'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone we are one of them the hand of God is upon you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm seeing in a vision the name UN and the Lord is saying someone is going to get a job UN United Nations now you will come and testify here I prophesy it in the name of Jesus God who revealed it may he put it in your hands I say it again God who revealed it I'm seeing UN the logo of UN United Nations may God no matter where you are may God use people to connect you to it in the name of Jesus my dear look at me this lady release this family now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare for those of you who are in front here you are delivered now please those who are up make sure they don't fall down so if they are under the anointing just guide them in the name of Jesus you are delivered now you are delivered forever in Jesus name 13 years no promotion one three 13 years you've not been promoted the Lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years you've not been promoted and the Lord is saying I should speak to you I want to speak to you by the Spirit listen when you hear prophetic words come like this don't downplay them a lot happens in the realm of the Spirit when a word is released are we together now there are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with that's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened this one happened don't be an unbeliever 13 years you have not been promoted I want to pray for you father look upon whoever this person is is this a lady this is not the person I'm seeing but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus 13 years no promotion father honor your word for this individual using this one in front as a point of contact I decree and declare that not only will you be promoted may God restore you may God restore you may God restore you in the name of Jesus Christ may God restore you I'm hearing the name tuberculosis in the name of Jesus one of your loved one has tuberculosis and the Lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis I'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes and you know chunks of blood comes out I'm hearing tuberculosis in the name of Jesus anyone here on ground or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis I declare be healed now now all those who are connecting from any hospital or those here trusting God for healing lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle I have taught you that faith demands the power of God demands that you engage if it's your eyes lay your hands there expecting to be healed if it's your ears lay your hands there if it's your neck if it's a part of your body that is sensitive just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact by the way you can stand for someone you don't have to be the one who is sick you can stand in for someone releasing your faith I want to pray here's what will happen as soon as I pray and make declarations already there are many people that the power of God has touched I will pray for you doesn't matter what the situation is I don't have to call it I want you to believe by faith check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened very quickly I want you to leave your seat and come to the front either by my left or my right I want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies and then I will share with you something and then begin to pray over 
um, the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness but I want to pray for the sick now please lay your hands believe I sing praises to your name oh God praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised there is a man immediately I'm seeing your case um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now the Lord is bringing restoration now now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of Jesus for those who are outside of this auditorium you can stretch your hands by faith I decree and I declare now let the healing power of Jesus coming like rain coming like fire let it rest upon the various parts of your body and I declare instant miracles now instant miracles now blind eyes be open now hearing problems deaf ears be open now any part of your body you could not move in Jesus name I command it to begin to move there's someone you came here with severe breathing problems in the name of Jesus as I pray begin to breathe you find out that there's freedom there's liberty you are able to breathe normally peptic ulcer be healed now hallelujah I don't know I'm not a medical doctor I don't know if there is a relationship between hepatitis and yellow eyes I just saw a vision I saw somebody whose eyes is yellow and I'm seeing hepatitis in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is right now the healing power of Jesus is touching you the healing power of Jesus is touching you in the name of Jesus there is someone you have something called um, a urinary infection you can go it embarrasses you sometimes if you don't rush to the bathroom you can ease yourself even before you get to the bathroom this is I don't I, I believe that this is some medical condition wherever you are in the name of Jesus now I am praying for you let that demonic sickness that has brought you embarrassment let it leave you now in the name of Jesus there's someone when you go to ease yourself you are also stooling blood it looks like pile in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil of pile be free from it this moment be free from it this moment hallelujah someone you are having problem with your teeth one by one they are being pulled out it looks like they are weakening this is what the Lord is showing me it's like the entire your entire um, you know your teeth is is fragile and they've pulled out some but this is something like a cavity problem that is affecting you completely in the name of Jesus wherever you are I decree and declare the power of God is touching you this moment be healed in Jesus name there's someone you have your the right part of your breast there's some growth you you started sensing that there's some lump or so growing i'm praying for you in jesus name this moment as i speak that satanic lump disappears from your body <laughs> hallelujah that's what we call muzzle pool so you have around your limb area here just a discomfort that affects you it happened to a gentleman and from that day you have not recovered you are able to walk but not without pain especially on your right side in the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit is bringing you life and healing right now you were sleeping and you felt like they drew your hair it's like somebody pulled your hair and from that time you started losing your hair in Jesus name I'm praying for you the person I'm seeing is like you are wearing something like pink like baby pink this is what God is showing me in the name of Jesus be healed this moment let the power of God rest upon you now and then for some of you you have sicknesses that 
has not been diagnosed medically but you know you are not all right you just know you can go they check through the machines and you are fine as much as the doctors tell you but you know that it's like you are dying slowly wherever you are in the name that is above all names i'm declaring to you right now be healed supernatural healing in jesus name you slept on one side of the bed and you woke up with pain severe pain around your neck just right here and from that time you have done all you know to do and that pain remains as i'm praying for you right now that satanic thing is giving way in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not let me have your attention in the name of jesus be healed now in the name of jesus be healed now inside outside be healed now i'm going to ask you to check yourself and as many of you some of you whilst you were under the anointing some of you now as i've spoken check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened whether online or offline we want to take a few testimonies very quickly don't sit back when there is a testimony there are people already coming in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, a miracle has happened to you. As we sing that song about light, leave your seat and come right to the front. Let's celebrate them as they come. Leave your seat. Check yourself right now. Come. Let's celebrate them as they come. In the Check yourself. You can come to my left or to my right. Any one of them. Are you celebrating the Kabir? One more time. Yeah, it's Hallelujah. 